The world of professional sports is frequently replete with tales of both success and failure. One example of such a tale is that of Andrew Raycroft, a former goaltender in the National Hockey League whose career was marked by both tremendous highs and devastating lows. Raycroft's meteoric ascent to stardom, which began in a remote community in Canada and culminated in the National Hockey League, was nothing short of miraculous. Nevertheless, just as quickly as he went to the top, his career started to collapse, leading to a devastating decline that left many people wondering what may have been. In this video, we'll examine the highs and lows of Andrew Raycroft's career, as well as those circumstances that contributed to his eventual demise. We'll also look at the factors that contributed to the rise and fall of Andrew Raycroft. Early Years with the Bruins Raycroft spent his formative years playing minor hockey with the Quinta Red Devils in the Eastern Ontario Triple A League. Before moving up to the junior ranks, Raycroft was a member of the Ontario Minor Hockey Association. Beginning in the 1997-98 season, he participated in the Ontario Hockey League, or OHL, for a total of three years splitting his time between the Kingston Frontenacs and Sudbury Wolves. Also, he skated for the junior team, the Wellington Dukes, who competed in the Ontario Provincial Junior A Hockey League, or OPJAHL. At the 1998 NHL entry draft, the Boston Bruins selected Raycroft 135th overall to become a part of their team. He made his debut with the Bruins in the 2000-2001 NHL season, replacing Byron Defoe in a game that the Bruins won 5-1 over the Philadelphia Flyers. Yet, because he entered the game late, the decision was not made with him in mind. Two days later, on October 9th, Raycroft won his first game in the National Hockey League with a 4-2 victory over the Florida Panthers. In his debut year with the Bruins, Raycroft appeared in a total of 11 games, although he spent most of his first three professional seasons with the Bruins' minor league affiliate, the Providence Bruins, who compete in the American Hockey League or AHL. Raycroft's first full season in the National Hockey League was in 2003-2004, the year after the Bruins extended his contract on July 31, 2003. He finished the season with a record of 29-18-9, a GAA of 2.05, a save percentage of .926, and three shutouts. Through his efforts, the Boston Bruins qualified for the postseason of the Stanley Cup tournament in 2004, finishing in second place in the Eastern Conference regular season standings. Despite the fact that he had not played in a sufficient number of games during any of his prior three NHL seasons to be considered a rookie, Raycroft won the Calder Memorial Trophy in 2004 as the League Rookie of the Year. Just like Raycroft, you can be our fan of the year if you subscribe to our channel. Seriously, subscribe to help push us forward. During the NHL lockout in 2004-2005, the young goaltender spent some time playing in Finland for Tapara Tampere. Despite this, Raycroft was unable to get back into the swing of things after missing over six months of action. Even after the lockout was lifted and hockey returned for the 2005-2006 season, he continued to have a difficult time. In that same year, Raycroft was kicked out from the Bostons and had lost his mojo. He ended up playing in only 30 games that season and had a record of 8, 19 and 2, with a terrible goals against average of 3.71 and a save percentage of 0.879. Raycroft swiftly found himself third on the depth chart behind Hanno Tovainen and Tim Thomas, who would lead Boston to a Stanley Cup victory five years later. During that season, the Bruins were the fifth worst club in the NHL and Raycroft rapidly found himself in that position. Toronto Maple Leafs Jeff Gorton engineered one of the biggest heists in Bruins history on June 24, 2006, when he traded Raycroft to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for Tuka Rask, who had been selected in the first round in 2005. Both he and fellow Maple Leafs prospect Justin Pogge were available for Boston to choose from. That's a pretty decent return for a player who was on the verge of being cut previous to the trade being made. He made his debut with the Maple Leafs during the 2006-2007 season, and on October 5, 2006, the Maple Leafs defeated the Ottawa Senators 6-0, giving him his first win and shutout as a member of the team. On April 3, 2007, Raycroft tied the franchise record previously held by Ed Belfour in 2002-2003 for most wins by a goalkeeper in the regular season, with 37 victories for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 
In spite of this record, he ended 49th in goals against average and 56th in save percentage as the Maple Leafs were eliminated from postseason contention. Raycroft was unable to get off to a good start during the 2007-2008 season, and as a result, Vesa Toscala was given the starting position. After that, on June 24, 2008, the Leafs put him on waivers, and on June 27, 2008, they bought him out of the remaining portion of his contract. Moving to the Avalanches. On July 1st, just a few days after being bought out by the Maple Leafs, he entered into a contract with the Colorado Avalanche for a single season. Raycroft began the 2008-2009 season strong, becoming only the second Avalanche goaltender in franchise history to open a season with a 9-1 record. This was despite the fact that he was brought in as a backup for Peter Budai. Raycroft finished his time with the Avalanche with a record of 12-16-0 and a 3.14 GAA. The switch to Canada. Raycroft agreed to terms with the Vancouver Canucks on July 6, 2009 for a one-year contract. During a battle in training camp against the prospect Corey Schneider, he was able to earn the backup goaltender position behind Roberto Luongo. He won his first game with the Canucks in his first start on October 29th, a 2-1 shootout victory over the Los Angeles Kings. This victory came after Luongo was sidelined with a fractured rib and unable to play for the Canucks. On November 1st, some days later, Raycroft recorded his first shutout as a Canuck in a victory over his former teammates from the Avalanche. One last attempt in the NHL. Raycroft moved to the Dallas Stars organization on July 1, 2010 after signing a free agent deal with the team for a period of two years. In his debut season with the Stars, he served as Kari Leitonen's backup and finished the year with an 8-5 record and a 2.83 goals against average. On the 29th of December in 2011, Raycroft was sent to the Texas Stars, who is the American Hockey League affiliate of the Dallas Stars. Richard Bachman took over for Raycroft as the Stars' backup goaltender behind starter Kari Leitonen. He had to finish out the remaining time on his contract playing in the minor leagues. The Last Mile Raycroft left his North American career on July 3, 2012 to begin a new endeavor in Europe by signing a one-year deal with the Italian Serie A club Milano Rossa Blu. At the time, there was minimal interest in Raycroft from NHL teams and a lockout was looming on the horizon. There have been discussions about the possibility of the Italian squad joining the Continental Hockey League or KHL. It was revealed that Raycroft would be playing for IF Bjorkloven during the 2013-2014 season on July 15, 2013. Raycroft made the announcement that he would be retiring from professional hockey on April 9, 2014. Since then, he's become a volunteer assistant coach for the men's ice hockey team at the University of Connecticut Huskies. Now on to a more cheerful video, click the link on the screen to watch the 20 craziest goals in playoffs.